The futility of this task does not go unnoticed by the spirits. The beast of the skies is upon us. Hey guys, it's Two Perfect Games, or Adam. Welcome back to some more Black Ops 3 Zombies, Goth Krovi. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get the wrench melee weapon on this map. And this is really exciting because I don't know about you guys, but I've wanted those melee weapons from multiplayer to come over to the zombies for the longest time now like there are some awesome melee weapons on that map and i've just been waiting for them to bring something over to zombies and i actually remember talking about the wrench in a uh, you know previous video and here we go we have the wrench now on this new zombies map now the wrench isn't the only melee weapon you can get from multiplayer on this map uh, i'll make a different video on the other melee weapon um but for now let's talk about how to get the wrench all right so first of all we know that there's challenges on this map. If you go to the spawn room, there's a there's a tombstone, and on your specific tombstone, there's going to be that green flame at the top, so you know it's yours, and you will see challenges on that tombstone, right? And you go up to them, and it tells you what to do. Now, apparently, there's hidden challenges, and I do have to mention that this was discovered by a YouTuber called Avery. Uh, I've done videos with him before. Go check him out, his link is in the description. He found all of this stuff out. Um, but there's hidden challenges on this map, apparently. And if you want to get the wrench, what you have to do is you have to survive for five rounds in under five minutes. So complete five rounds in under five minutes. And you can see me right here. Uh, this was not a perfect run at all. Uh, half the time I was just standing there and just texting on my phone and uh, you can actually check how long it's taken you because you can just tip the, uh, the 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 touchpad on the PlayStation controller and it shows your time right you guys will see me constantly pressing that and checking how long uh, I've been playing for so you have to survive from round one to the end of five all right it's not rounds one to beginning of five from rounds one to the end of five so pretty much one to beginning of six it in order to get this challenge, all right? And you'll know when you get it because it will kind of come up on your screen. I'll show you guys a screenshot of that in just a little bit, but it will pop up on your screen saying the challenge is complete and uh, it will kind of tell you where to collect your prize. So let's talk about surviving these five rounds in under five minutes. So my strategy for this specific challenge, the other ones are a lot harder so it's going to be a little different but for this one it's pretty simple what you should do is stay in the starting room the entire time because you can buy the rk5 off the wall like i did here and just run around and try to kill these guys as fast as you can i really wouldn't waste any gobble gums or any of that stuff on this specific uh, weapon just because it's it's doable in the starting room with just buying the uh, RK5. Some of the other ones we're gonna need gobble gums to help us out but for this one guys just buy the RK5 and you're going to be good to go. Now I also want to talk about why is this a good idea? Why should you get the wrench? Now personally I love the Bowie knife. I'm a sucker for the Bowie knife. I buy it every single game, every map. I buy the Bowie knife and it's 3,000 points, all right? When you do this challenge and you unlock the wrench, it only costs 100 points. That is absolutely amazing. And I think it does the same amount of damage as the Bowie knife. Now the wrench is an actual weapon. Like it takes one of your weapon slots up. Uh, it's not like the Bowie knife where it's just kind of not there. You just, whenever you knife, the Bowie knife is there. But I'd rather spend 100 points and then kind of get rid of it after like round 10 or 11 than spend 3,000 points in the Bowie knife and uh, not be able to really use it after round 10 or, or 11, right? So buying the wrench is definitely a good idea and I recommend giving this a go. So as you guys can see right here, I'm almost done. I'm constantly just checking my scoreboard here, hoping I can get it done in time. 
I've got a couple more zombies left, and uh, like literally, I think I was like eight seconds off, or no, six seconds, and there you go. You can see time attack, complete five rounds in under five minutes. Now we have to head over to the bunker and collect our wrench. So once you've done that, come over here to the bunker or the armory, and right across from the trap switch when you enter in here, you can get the wrench on the wall right there, and guys, there's something so awesome about this weapon. It's just so satisfying walking around and just hitting zombies on the top of the head. It's so fun. I recommend getting this weapon, guys. And uh, it's just it's just different, right? We've never had something like this in zombies before. And it's fun to use. So anyways, guys, that is all for now. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe as well because this is not the only melee weapon that is on this map from multiplayer and I'll be showing you guys how to do that as well. So subscribe for that and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.